You are now tuned in to Spirit Television. Who are you? KP, Cash Profit, Cash. Go by a lot of names. I was thinking of a name that I felt like was heavy hitting and representing my character for Cash because I get money and profit because now I be speaking some real shit sometimes that people really don't want to hear, but shit, I was bored here. That's why I was bored at. I fuck with it. I needed to make some money. I quit my job. I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do, but I quit it. And I was just thinking for like a month straight on what I was going to do to get some money. And I was pretty, I'm pretty artsy. So I seen somebody doing rugs on TikTok. I was like, nigga, I can do that. Ordered all the stuff. Built the frame. Started doing that. I seen what learned off YouTube, really. Yeah, all, the, all the stuff I learned off YouTube, TikTok. Five bucks or four bucks, something like that. Probably when I was like 16, I was always freestyling this shit. I don't remember. I think it was a rhyme with that. Love with the AK or something. So, if you uh, work with other people with a solo song or what? It was a solo song. My nigga Flex Boy. When I was like 16, he was like 19. He, he was like producing my music, he would look out for me. I started learning He moved away And I started learning How to mix my stuff When I was like 16 I taught myself I downloaded FL And I started teaching myself How to mix up And then I was like All my homies wanted to rap But we didn't want to pay For a producer So I taught myself And I bought the computer And the mic And then we slowly I learned And I taught some of my homies too Speaker knockers Lonely Yeah I always felt that song because I feel like I relate to it a lot. But I was like 16, I heard it. I was like 15, I listened to it, but that song made me want to start rapping. It used to be bad. Drugs aren't good, but and I, I, I'm I young, so I want to have fun. But I used to be kind of like bad, use them like when I was going through shit, when I was like depressed or I was sad or I was didn't want to like talk about shit, I would do them. But now I don't do them like that. Like if I'm going through something, I don't even be doing drugs. I sit down, like really sit with myself. But I treat drugs as like a kind of like a reward now. Like it's my birthday month, and like I put in a lot of work. So sometimes like you never want to abuse them. But like, I feel like if I put in work and I want to do something, and I'm smart about it. I eat healthy. Everybody can be like, oh, that's an excuse. That's an excuse because yeah, drugs ain't healthy. It's drugs at the end of the day. But people drink alcohol. People smoke cigarettes. It's all how you. People who need to stay on top of it are people who get addicted, you know, so people can't control themselves. It's all about self-control, I feel like. This year, we really, um, now we got the team trying to get the cameraman down here. <laughs> trying to get the cameraman down here. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get a space where we're all going to work out of. We're going to sell out of, have the clothing shop, and have a lot of other stuff. We can't say too much, but, yeah, we're going to do a lot of stuff that we're really just applying pressure on the content scene now. Right now, I haven't really been working on too much music because I've been doing getting my rug business off the ground. We're going to have a lot of music in the works. I'm going to be making a tape with my brother and stuff. All my homies going to be rich. Probably going to be in Atlanta. You know, living good. I'll have businesses. All, you know what I'm saying? Really doing stuff, helping our family out, supporting people, and all helping each other eat. Fast whips, big stacks, good gas, fat cribs. I probably wouldn't even believe it. I probably even want to see myself what I've been 15 at the time, 14. You know, I, I always knew I was going to do, you know, some good shit with my life and big shit. I was just, every day I think about it, you know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I was like, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? I never gave up on a lot of shit, even when I was younger. So, probably I'd be surprised, but like, I wouldn't be surprised. And I'd be like, damn. Cause even I wouldn't even know some of the shit I'm doing now, I'm blown away how I am and how I act. My new mentality and shit. What you mean? Like, I don't know. Is that how, how you perceive the question? Like when I die? No, not even just like, what happens after life? So like, I feel like life just has different cycles. So like, you know, if I wasn't rapping, if I wasn't doing rugs, I feel like I'd be on some business shit in the next part of my life. On the property in my next life cycle. Probably by the time I'm get older, if I get real old, really just support my family, chilling back. 
you know, life er, life be life in. So, go with the flow, that's really, but I got a lot of shit from my life that I want to do, big stuff. Anything else you want to say? Shit. Got my homie three right here. He be making clothes. This so is like, this, 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 the, this, the, this the clothing guy for the team. This is my homie DG. This is my brother, little brother, you know. Yeah, you know, this is, and this is my homie Day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He gets to the money. All right. We all doing something. We all working on the business shit. This my shit team. Oh, God, nigga. It's SB. Business, nigga. Yes, sir. SB. It's the team. My name Cash. Cash Profit. We going up. Stay tuned all year. All 20, 20, fucking